This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Audible. Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Buffalo. I'm your host, John Renter. This is the show where you can ask me any question you've got from the ever expanding and growing world of technology. Up this week, we're going to talk about the next iPhone, the PS4, the rumored X phone, and some thoughts on the Xperia Z. If you want to see your questions show up in a future Ask the Buffalo episode, every Tuesday on technobuffalo.com, we'll put up an article. And if you want to leave a question, you can do so in the comments. Otherwise, if Tuesday ain't your thing, you go ahead and send me a question on Twitter. Either send it to me at John Four Lakers or at Techno Buffalo and use hashtag AskTheB so I know it's for the show. Let's get started. Blake Adams asks, do you think the Motorola X phone will be able to dethrone Samsung and the dominance it has over the Android OS? It's going to be really hard to overthrow Samsung. Samsung's not just dominating Android, they're dominating the entire phone world. They are selling handsets left and right. They offer multiple phones in multiple sizes and multiple price points in multiple regions across multiple carriers. And all that aside, their marketing has been borderline genius. You look at how they've been sort of undermining the Apple mystique over the past few years with the waiting in line and the geniuses. I do think that the X phone, if you guys aren't familiar with it, supposedly is going to be Motorola built and might perhaps end up being the next Nexus and could have the latest flagship features and specs have been running crazy on it. Anything from a 4.3 inch screen to a 5 inch screen from quad core to 8 core. Most surprisingly though is that we haven't seen any Mr. Blur cam shots of the phone yet. So it's really hard to determine what's fact and what's fiction. Do I think it's going to dethrone Samsung? Probably not. Even if it ends up being the best phone out there. Samsung really has now a mind share, a market share, and the budget to back it up. This one comes from Twitter user at gaming Josie 34 asks at John for Lakers what do you think Sony will show with the ps4 at e3 I think they show absolutely everything that they didn't show at their event two weeks ago so what is that particular I think they're first going to show the console itself what it's going to look like the specs on it and the actual design further I think they're going to tell us the price how much it's going to cost whether it's going to come in different bundles variants I think they're also going to show what the launch title games might perhaps be I think we'll see some actual gameplay being run off the console as opposed to off a developer unit. So lastly, I think there's going to be a lot of talk about 4K and the role that the PS4 is going to have in Sony's push behind 4K, whether or not games could at some point hypothetically show 4K content, or whether or not it's going to be shown just for movies or TV shows, depending on sort of upscaling for potentially streaming content years down the road. The PlayStation and the Xbox, really video game consoles now have such a long lifespan that what they can be able to do 10 years from now really pales into comparison to what they can do at launch. So if you're a gamer, now is a really exciting time to get jazzed up about the future of games. Tech Fi or Tech Fee asks at John for Lakers, what do you think Apple needs to do in order to improve the iPhone? Hashtag ask the B. So it's sort of a double edged sword when it comes to the iPhone. The iPhone just works. It's a very similar operating system we've seen since 2007, but things work very well on it. For the most part, the operating system functions as it should. I think what iOS has had going for it that's really made it unique, at least in the past, has been application support. And that's really been their calling card over the past few years. But during that time frame, Android's come on really strong. So I think Apple needs to do to improve the iPhone is iOS in particular. I think the hardware that Apple uses is incredible. The phones look great. They're beautiful specimens of industrial design. The specs matter less on Apple devices since they make the operating system to go along with the hardware in there. So they don't need, you know, huge, huge, huge clock speeds to make sure things run buttery smooth. I've talked at length about what I think Apple needs to do with the next version of iOS, iOS 7. I think they need something to be fresh. It needs to be that Apple mystique they used to sell devices in bulk. I think Apple needs to regain some of that mind share. It certainly has taken a toll on their stock price as well, despite having almost record numbers of device sales. So hopefully that helps answer your question. This one comes from Twitter as well on user at Gerp Singh asks at John for Lakers. John, what do you think of the Sony Xperia Z? Reviews are saying it's reinvented the phone, but how? So any reviews that you're seeing aren't actual reviews. The production units aren't really out there and available quite yet. We're still just a little bit away. We had a chance to see the Xperia Z at CES and I came away really impressed. In fact, it won one of our best of CES awards. The design of the phone, the way it feels in your hand, is sort of a very intangible thing. And that's kind of hard to communicate. The phone felt great. It felt like a really powerful slab. It's a phone that really looks good. And Sony hasn't had that flagship competitive phone, especially in the US market, 
almost ever. So I'm very excited to see the Xperia Z. We're probably a week to two weeks from having our review unit in, but as soon as we get it, I would be happy to show you and share and anything you want to see about the Xperia Z. You guys excited about it? Do you want to see an Xperia Z? Are you jazzed for an Xperia Z? Are you waiting to get your Z on? I want to hear from you. So let me step aside from talking about phones, games, and tablets to thank our friends at audible.com. If you don't know them, you should. They are the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word and Entertainment. They have over 100,000 titles to choose from. They can be downloaded pretty much anywhere to iPod, MP3 player, Android device, and played back anywhere, anytime. You can choose from books in pretty much every genre you can think of, including thrillers, drama, comedy, business, history, and a ton more. Listen to them when you're at the gym, in the car. It's usually where I get all my reading on. If you've been wanting to catch up on the latest book, we don't have the time to sit down and read. Go to audible.com slash techno to get a free audiobook download of your choice and a 30-day free trial when you sign up today. Again, go to audible.com slash techno for your free audiobook. So thank you guys for watching another episode of Ask the Buffalo. I hope you enjoyed. I'm your host, John Rettinger. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. Uh, be sure to check us out at technobuffalo.com for latest and greatest tech news. Until then, I will talk to you in the next video.